Hey guys and welcome back to another video of Spark Plugs. So in this video tutorial, I am going to show you how to use the web command to make quick rips and gessers in your 3D design. So I will start by making a simple body on which I am going to show you. So I am just going to make a zigzag type body uh, which having uh, uh, having very curvy design. Let this is okay just extrude it like this this is okay and I'm going to shell it with a thickness of 2 mm yeah so the first rule to make a web that the sketch uh, the plane on which uh, you are going to make your sketch for the ribs uh, uh, that that must to be a plane uh, on the on your body uh, suppose that uh, if I want my rib to be made on this surface, so I need to make the uh, sketch on this surface. Uh, suppose that if I offset the surface 5 mm or 10 mm in the air and then I try to make the sketch and use web command, then that trick won't work because uh, web command need the sketch to be made on the surface of the body. Also, uh, the back surface does not matter as a rib actually works as an extrude command up to a next type so what I will do is click on create a sketch I'm going to select this face and now suppose that I want a vertical uh, rip so I have basically two options either I can just roughly draw a, a line uh, going through it or either e I can uh, 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 draw a short one also now suppose that I want a uh, a line like this also uh, basically one thing or uh, one thing more uh, the web command don't works when you uh, join two different line like I just did here basically uh, the uh, web command will work with this line will work with this line also but here if this are uh, these two are joined then web command don't work so what I have to do is uh, just delete this line and just draw another one intersection is not a problem but joining of two line is a problem so suppose that le uh, let me just draw a uh, spline here like this so uh, like uh, this and press ok so here is the sketch this will represent the position on which I am going to make the web so now what I am going to do is go to create click on web so it will ask you about the curve suppose that I am going to select this curve the second thing is ask about the thickness let's give a thickness 2 mm and the thickness option would be symmetric uh, both side equal thickness so as you guys can see uh, uh, though I I made the line a little bigger than the body but the it automatically uh, it snaps the object and makes the rib only on the desired position now the second option is to fill up the direction and the thickness uh, depth is up to next or you can just uh, click on depth and you can manually select the depth uh, to which you want your rib to be uh, made and the maximum limit is the uh, outermost part of the body suppose that uh, this is the limit of the body this phase is the limit so I can't make the rib beyond that so let's keep it up to next L what happened so let me just uh, uncheck the extend curve for now I'm going to select control and select this one also and as you can see uh, this made the uh, uh, this time the rib got made according to the line but if I just select the extend curve command it automatically get stretched towards the outer edge till it's made till it meet the outer edge of the box so this is how the extend command works you don't need to put a line from li right from the starting to the end of the body you just have to make a, a line in between them so let's just control and select this one and this one also you can as, as I told you that intersection is not a problem two lines can intersect but uh, joining of two lines is a problem let's select this is spline 2 uh, so what he, what what it, it has done is 
uh, it has extended this spline tangent to the rest and it automatically generated that surface so this is how the web command works in fusion 360 hope you guys will enjoy the video please comment any queries and suggestions for my coming videos thank you and have a nice day